and welcome everybody to one more video about space weather. This is our bonus feature segment looking at GPS errors or the likely spots for them here with the total electron content forecast showing the free electrons in the plasma sphere and lower Van Allen belt. The electrons through which your GPS satellite must communicate with your handset and we're seeing some chaos here as we typically do during Corona hole wind streams. If you want more details on that watch our previous video our fields and features segment. YouTube.com slash smash mash slash videos. So a little bit of chaos there. Some GPS errors happening over places like North America despite it being winter up here. And some nighttime GPS errors as well. Significant ones there around the central Atlantic in the middle of the night. So here's a diagram of Earth's Van Allen belts. Distances are shown in miles. Feel free to pause the video if you want to look at that further. Satellites are largely in the clear here, so we don't see any charging hazards at the moment. Electron flux has dipped a little bit here, still at rather high levels with the relativistic electrons. Here is the GOES 16 and 17 measurements using radiography from their geosynchronous orbit at the F ionosphere layer. So there you go. We see cratered levels here. And those tend to be typical of coronal hole wind streams as well. Here's the forecast model. I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit lower here because we've got an ongoing coronal hole wind stream. That's just my guess. It's not a major disagreement with NOAA's forecast. Let's continue on to look at the F ionosphere layer, which is located at about 300 kilometers of altitude. So that layer where those GOES satellites are making their electron flux measurements, this is the entire global view, the ionogram from the Australian Government Bureau of Meteorology. And we're making it to some pretty high frequency uh, moments here in the ionosphere, making it all the way up to 14 megahertz at least. Some of the higher frequency that we've seen recently on the videos. We'll also show you the anomaly gram once that plays through. We show it daily to tie the data together or to debunk nonsense or maybe even both. So here's the anomaly gram showing anomaly in megahertz from the 30 day median. Some major low frequency anomalies there happening in the southern hemisphere, mainly high frequency anomalies in the northern hemisphere major swings there over the Pacific Ocean and some sudden undulations over places like South America. And we'll bring up the latest image here as well. So there's the latest ionogram. That's 1245 Universal Time. There's the latest anomaly gram, 1245 Universal Time. This is the, check it out, low frequency anomaly happening here near the Drake Passage. Anyway, welcome everybody to the Neo Renaissance. Congratulations on realizing the channel exists. Just showing you our homepage here. We've recently made some changes to that. Consider becoming a member of the Smash team if you enjoy the content and prefer to see it continue to exist and remain publicly visible. We're creating the videos at massive personal risk and expense. Thanks to the Smash team for supporting the content. There are two paid levels there, the gold and silver level. There's also an annual gold paid up subscription level, which is by far the best value. Smashamash.com slash smash team links below the video as well as on the home page. Also, thanks everybody who's picked up merch over the years. You can find links to that as well. Keep in mind opinions expressed on these merch items, not necessarily the opinions of Smash News Network, least busted name and news. We've opened up all of our designs for a limited period. We may take some back down. Again, links below the video and on the homepage at smashamash.com. We are also on Twitter. Create a Twitter account if you don't have one. It's a great place to network and the amount of people covering space-related things is quite high on Twitter. And it's a great place to network. We're having a great time interacting with some of the other accounts on there. If you want to see what we've been retweeting, uh, twitter.com slash smashamash. Here come additional bonus features. 
First, the ground-based solar observatory at Cerro Tololo, Chile, part of the National Sunspot Observatory. Lots of filaments in the earthly zone here. And we can see a CME likely happening right at this point right here. You can see that filament vanish. It might have been, I think it may have actually collapsed back onto the chromosphere. There was also an M-class flare over here at the southwestern limb. Watch our previous videos to see more details on that. Next, the latest intensity gram and latest colorized, magnetogra colorized magnetogram. We've got beta class sunspot groups. That's beta class. That's beta class. That's beta class. And 2941 is just large in beta class. Here are the fields. Some high res imagery there of the solar fields. So, likelihood of solar flares isn't as high as it was a couple of days ago, but we still do have a significant possibility of additional large flares. Let's see what's going on from the perspective of the GO 16 SUVI and 304 angstroms. Great at showing solar prominences, and we've streamed live prominences repeatedly on the Twitch channel. By the way, we're doing videos at twitch.tv slash smashamash. If you're into viewing live streaming content, we put out a video every day. Our meteorology segment is typically streamed live to Twitch before being uploaded to YouTube. So there's the GO 16 SUVI, and we'll close things out with 171 angstroms. This flare producing region down here in the southwest is something to keep an eye on. And when I say eye on, well, pardon the pun. Here's the zoomed out version. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Space Weather. Congratulations on realizing the channel exists and may that solar wind be at your back.